Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we'll be taking down the rest of chapter 12, parts 3, 4 and 5, where we will be spying on Madame Rakepick, trying to uncover more information about what she's really at Hogwarts to do. Let's see if we can find out some more information. Rakepick is in the three broomsticks. Find out exactly what she's planning. Built and Bilms, what are you doing in here? What time is it? I dropped my watch in a bathtub full of whizzing worms. <laughs> now I can't tell what time it is. It was a watch given to me, my great great grandfather. <laughs> uh, priceless. Sentimental value so high. Uh, uh, I think Bill and Bill's has got serious problems. Welcome back to the free broomstick, Shiny. Thank you, Madame Rosemurta. Rosemurta, better have ordered more of those tiny umbrellas. What? Whoa, whoa. Last session was set episode was meant to be like the least dark thing as, as Mother has ever said. This, for sure. What they are, they, they, the developers are joking with us here. Rosemurta, better have ordered those tiny umbrellas. That's hilarious. Love it. Shiny, what a nice surprise. What brings you to the three broomsticks? Do you want to know the truth? I, I usually do, yes. I'm here to pick up Lavender for Professor Snape, but he actually has me spying on Madame Rape Pick. That's dangerous business, Shiny. I told you to watch yourself around her. I'm being careful. She'll never know. She's totally going to know. She prides herself on knowing more than anyone. I'm inclined to think she does. Except for Professor Dumbledore, of course. Let's just have a butter beer and relax. Ray Pitt will never know I'm spying. She's totally gonna know. She's gonna confront us in like the final part. I can see it happening. Anyway, we get someone to hang out with Hagrid, so it's not, it's not bad at all. Oh, you do fancy a butter beer now and then. Do you know that I was expelled like your brother? I do. You were expelled because of Tom Riddle. They thought it was Aragog who was killing all the, the students. And actually, it was the Basilisk. Everyone seems to be having a good time. How am I? How are we doing on the spying? I don't seem to be getting any information. Professor Kelburn kept talking, not noticing his arm had fallen off. <laughs> what? <laughs> that does sound like Professor Kelburn. And with that, we are done. Completed. Success. You sh ah, you should go before British Reaper catches on to your spying, Shiny. Hmm. Look. She's talking to Madame Rosmerta. Is it true that you knew Jacob Hunter? Is this how you typically greet people? I understand that he's left a notebook here that has been transfigured into a black quill. Are you planning on ordering a drink? Otherwise, I have paying customers to attend to. Did he also leave a map? Excuse me? A map of Hogwarts and the castle grounds. Mr. Filch confiscated it years ago, but it's no longer in his office. I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. I'll need to check your storeroom. Over my dead body? That could be arranged. Some of my best customers are from the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. A couple from the Order Office. Should I let them know that you're threatening their favourite pub and their very patient landlady? Try cleaning this dump. You might uncover my map. And avoid having to pay for your disrespect. Dang, she nasty. Have a pleasant day, dear. Don't dare step foot to my establishment again. Well, that was quite dramatic. Do you know what map she's talking about? I had rumours of her sometimes running with a group who had a magical map back when she was a student. Probably just a rumour. You're probably right. Either way, I better see what else she knows. This is a good chapter. Rakeprick has been visiting students stricken with the sleepwalking curse. You ready to head to their hospital wing? I'm on it. Yeah, I feel like she's gonna know the fact that I'm in constantly around her all day. Just happen to be in the same room with her. She's gonna catch on to me. Hospital wing. Oh my god. These patients are vanishing. Adam Pumphrey. They're glitching out of existence. They're going at it. They're disappearing. Oh well. Madam Pumphrey. <laughs> Excuse me, Madam Pumphrey. Professor Snape sent me to receive some scarab beetles he gave you. That's fine. Scarab beetles won't help these students stricken with a sleepwalking curse. 
Can I do anything to help you? We can tend to the patients and provide a comforting presence. Madam Rakepick has been kind enough to visit the cursed students since the moment she returned to Hogwarts. I'm sure she has. I'll do my best to watch what she does. Everyone must end up at the hospital wing at some point. I'm, I'm yet to actually be injured yet. Every bandage should be tight. Medicine should be swallowed. Done. Success. Time for some more inconspicuous eavesdropping. This student has been asleep much longer than the rest. Yes, five weeks and three days. The longer the curse lasts, the longer they sleep. I fear that if the curse isn't broken soon, they may never wake again. And we don't understand why they've stopped sleepwalking. When it happened before, Professor Dumbledore believed they stopped because of interference with the cursed fault. Does he have a hypothesis as to why the curse returned after being broken years ago? Do we know that the curse was broken years ago? No. I suppose we don't. Thank you for everything you do, Madam Pomfrey. Let's hope this curse is broken and these students are freed. Isn't that right, Mr. Hunter? Oh, God. It's happened. Mm, yes, of course. Did you learn everything you hoped by spying on me? Yes. I know more than I did before, even though I still don't understand exactly what you're after. If you did, I'd have failed at my job. I never fail at my job, Mr. Hunter. Give Severus Snape my regards. Awkward. Tell me what you discovered about Rake Pick during your next potions class. Alright, let's finally talk to Snape, see what's going on. Do Murtlops make good pets? I don't think they do. What sort of idiot would try to spy on Madame Ratepick? Oh, right. <laughs> Professor Snape? Sit down, Hunter. I just wanted to tell you what happened with... Sit down and speak after class. Okay. I thought we were friends, and all of a sudden you've gone back to being an absolute... Nightmare. Success! Now finally Snape will hopefully interact with us on a meaningful level. I'm done with Snape. Never discuss our arrangement or anything you have to do with Rakepick around your fellow students. Says he who is... this is Melda right over there. Why? I don't believe she's working alone. And I believe at least one of her co-conspirators is a student in Slytherin. It's Marula. It's, she's already said it's Marula. Why do you think that? It's irrelevant. Tell me what you learned about Rakepick. She has a key from Filch's office. He says someone sent it to him along with three black quills. She wants to know who. Go on. She's looking for a magical map of Hogwarts that used to be kept in Filch's office. She thinks my brother may have had it at one time. Also, you should never mess with Madame Rosmerta. What else? She knows that you sent me to Spana. Obviously. You knew? Rakepick has many flaws. Stupidity is not one. She said she wanted me to hear and will wait for my response. You used me in an attempt to save Hogwarts and your unfortunate existence. Don't be so sensitive. Says he who's like majorly sensitive deep down. Since you chose to help me investigate Rake Pick, I'm giving you whoa, 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 20 points to Gryffindor. 20 points. That's, that's, that's like a thousand points in terms of Dumbledore. Take this. We've got an awesome potion as well. What is it? Garroting gas. Anyone who believes... Oh, my phone ran out to battery and just died. Garroting gas. Anyone who breathes it will choke. Rake pig may try to kill you. This may save your life. Rapig might genuinely actually try to kill me. I will call on you again to help me expose her, Hunter. Continue to follow my orders. And I will teach you a curse I invented 
that I have never shown anyone. Uh, yes, please. I'm on it. I will. I will follow you to death, Snape. The thing is, like, we know we can trust Snape. That's why I'm like, I've always had my doubts about rape pick. But Snape, you know, he's got the best interests at heart. You know, he's got the school at heart. He wouldn't let any harm to come to it. So, Team Severus and Shiny, S and S. What does it spell? Nothing else but success. Nothing less than the best. We succeed at every test. I confess. Once I walked into a potion classroom and saw Snape in a dress. Hey, if it rhymes, it's true. Okay, well, that's all for this episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Chapter 12 will obviously be complete when we do the Defindo and Serpent Sortier. Until then, we will be waiting until Thursday for Chapter 13. That's all for this one. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information. That's all from me. See you soon.